Hey, what's going on everybody? Nick Sapinero here once again for your monthly update video. It has been the month of February, which is the shortest month, and yet such an eventful month nonetheless. Now, before we jump in, I want to make sure that everyone stays tuned until the end, where I will be announcing some really, really incredible partnerships. Real partnerships, not pre-announcements. Let's get right into it. First of all, we saw a couple of new use cases for Divi come online this month with Polis Pay actually integrating Divi as a payment method for their Polis Nodes application. You guys might remember that we partnered with Polis Pay a few months ago and they actually added Divi to their mobile wallet, offering a bunch of different amazing features for their users. And now you can actually set up a new node on Polis Pay using Divi as the currency. We also saw a new store come online, DiviSyrup.com. Really cool. This guy up in Canada, one of our community members, is actually the first person to be beta testing our Divi Mall application that's forthcoming. The Divi Mall is sort of like a Shopify clone for Divi. So with Shopify, if you've never set up a, a website with Shopify, you simply go on the website, uh, select a domain name or, or enter your own, and they set up everything for you. It's a really beautiful thing. And you have a full e-commerce platform where you can accept payments and everything is just there for you. You just load in your products. We're doing the same thing except with Divi. DiviSyrup.com is the first iteration of this in that you can go on DiviSyrup.com and order directly from our community member syrup, uh, maple butter, which I ordered and it's really, really tasty, um, and a bunch of other products. Really cool and we're really excited for Divi Mall to come online. Of course, we got back from Anarchapulco uh, a couple weeks ago. Anarchapulco is also always an amazing event. I had the opportunity to deliver the opening keynote on the Crypto Polco stage, which is their crypto track. And that was an amazing opportunity because it gave me 40 minutes to actually speak about something that I feel really passionate about, which is the collective action problem and how it pertains to mass adoption. Uh, you should definitely check out the presentation. Full link is below. And while we were in an Acapulco, <laughs> that's a tongue twister, we had the opportunity to um, participate in the family camp day with the Marsh's Children's Home once again. Marsh's Children's Home is a orphanage down in Acapulco. We were able to raise enough money this year between our community and between our, um, our own charity fund in order to provide five computers for the orphanage, as well as a big charging station, um, some robots that they got to build, they're like these Lego robots. And we'll have a video uh, of all of the amazing activities that we participated in with them. While we were down there um, with the computers, Frisco, who's behind the camera today, actually was able to deliver a presentation, a little bit of a workshop for some of the older kids, where he taught them how to uh, edit video, how to set up a YouTube channel, and how to become sort of an entrepreneur just with the computers that we gave them. So again, it's an incredible opportunity for us and the kids are just so amazing. It's really just a heartwarming moment. I think all of us teared up at one point or another. Um, so definitely look out for the video recap of that. In February, Masternodes Online delivered their industry report, which is similar to CoinGecko's report, except that it's focused specifically on Masternodes. We were, of course, the top number one earner in the Masternode niche throughout the crypto industry in 2019 and we were top five overall according to masternode online's report we're extremely proud of this of course and we're grateful to masternodes online for putting this report together stex uh, our new exchange came online this month you can now deposit and trade on stex and they're actually as of today holding a trading competition uh, for all of their users which offers the opportunity for the top 25 traders to split 500,000 divi uh, between them. Now, the cool thing about this trading competition is that it's not just the best trade wins. It's based on your overall uh, consistency over the course of a 30-day period. So you actually have to keep your volumes up and your trade consistency um, consistently profitable over 30 days. And again, the top 25 people who succeed in this will win a pool of 500,000 Divi. We're really excited about it. Go over to Stex.com, sign up, deposit some Divi, and get ready to start trading right away. LA Token is also coming online in the next month. We're really excited about LA Token because we're actually listing alongside 4 and Pivx. So this triple triangular co-listing 
is a really great opportunity for us to access other communities, open the doors to their communities, of course, uh, and get on a new exchange, more liquidity for our users. It is a non-US exchange, so if you're from the US, maybe stick to Stex and BitTrue for now, but if you're not, head over to latoken.com, sign up, and you can deposit Divi as of today. We'll also be doing an AMA with LA Token this coming week, and you can look out on our blog and on our announcements channels for more details about that. One of the things I'm most excited about this month is the fact that we crossed the threshold of 900 deployed masternodes in the Divi ecosystem. This is a huge milestone for us because now over $10.5 million in value is allocated to Divi masternodes. I mean, just at the beginning of the year, we were around 300 or 350. It's huge growth, it's amazing growth, and we're really excited to see it because it's also a big congratulations to our community who's stuck with us through so many different things, is getting the word out there, bringing people aboard. You know, we have the Divi crew out there every single day spreading the word, and you guys have done an amazing job at building this network. When we hit 1,000 masternodes, I'm gonna do something really, really big on Discord. So make sure you join our Discord I'll be, and make sure you're accessing the giveaway channel because I'll be doing some really, really fun things that we will announce when we hit that thousand. Of course, everyone's curious about the Divi 2.0 launch. Things are moving along swimmingly. We have over 5,000 people that have signed up on wallet.diviproject.org. Curious about the beta, curious about updates. So if you haven't already, hit the link wallet.diviproject.org and make sure you are signed up there to be the first to know about any developments on that end. With Divi 2.0 in mind, we actually have our first of many uh, mandatory upgrades to the core software. If you're running a CLI Divi node, you're gonna wanna stay tuned to all of our channels and be locked in because this is a mandatory upgrade. If you do not upgrade, you will not continue with the version of Divi and you will fork. I'm sure if you're running a CLI node, you know what that means. If you have any questions about that, you can come join us on Telegram or Discord, and we're happy to support you in the upgrade process. If you're running a desktop node, or if you have a Mochi deployed, you have nothing to worry about. Simply upgrade your wallet when you get the auto-update notification, and you're good to go. The Mochis are all fully upgraded already, and again, good to go. The mobile and desktop wallets are looking really good. Um, right now, we're working on one of the most major features which is the onboarding process. And it's a little bit more involved than just like, oh, you sign up, here's your email, here's your whatever. The onboarding process instantiates the wallet, right, in, in your actual account. So this is actually probably the most major phase of the implementation of functionality. Once we implement this functionality, all of the rest of the pieces start to fall into place, like deploying masternodes, setting up staking vaults, and things that are already done this is why we built the Divi 2.0 ecosystem to be modular, so that we can easily integrate and have these things fall into place as the bigger features start to come online. We're really excited, I'm sure you guys are too. The chains are moving forward beautifully. Redivi is moving forward beautifully. We're already uh, have all the APIs written for the FinTech aspect of the wallet. So you can actually, right now we're already testing um, issuing international bank account numbers, sending, transferring money. It's amazing. We're super excited to actually get this stuff in the wallet, finished and delivered to you guys. Down in Venezuela, they are doing amazing things for Divi. As some of you might know, we forged a relationship with the Wild West Crypto Show in order to uh, build some masternodes for the Venezuelan community. These masternodes actually support a couple of different philanthropic endeavors. One is an educational endeavor where a couple of our community members actually set up and educate people on blockchain, cryptocurrency, and of course Divi. Um, we've had two, actually by the time this video comes out, we'll have had three Venezuelan meetups, and you can see the pictures on our Twitter. And the second part of this initiative affords the ability to provide food for 25 kids every single week. These kids can come, get a huge, nice meal, rice, beans, potatoes, everything uh, once a week. It's a beautiful thing. Again, the pictures are on our, uh, on our Twitter, and we're just really excited to be a part of that. Of course, one of the biggest features of Divi is the fact that we have 1% of our block rewards going towards charity, towards philanthropic endeavors, but it's really important that we actually participate in these endeavors. We don't want to just you know, throw money at the wall, 
different charities and hope that it works. We, we have people feet on the ground making sure that these endeavors actually are taking place and are having the beneficial effect that they're supposed to. Now, for the juiciest part of our video today, probably the most exciting for everyone watching, are the partnership announcements. Now, these are not pre-announcements. These are signed deals. So everything I'm about to tell you is happening right now, today. Okay, so a lot of people have been curious about the WhatsApp uh, channel partnership that you've seen on our roadmap. The WhatsApp channel partnership is an actual channel partnership with WhatsApp, Facebook's company, WhatsApp. The messaging app, you guys know it? <laughs> Pretty sure a billion other people know it too. What's amazing about this partnership is we actually get to integrate payments directly into WhatsApp with their software development kit. This software development kit isn't available publicly. It's not an API that you can just go hit the endpoints of. This is a direct integration into the app. What this gives us the opportunity to provide the WhatsApp users is fiat payments, Bitcoin payments, and you guessed it, Divi payments right in WhatsApp. That means over a billion people will see Divi in their WhatsApp application very, very soon. Some of you also may have heard of our partnership with Dragon Chain. Our CEO, Jeff, has become really, really friendly with their CEO, and they have agreed to integrate Divi as their third coin in their smart contract ecosystem, right behind Bitcoin and Ethereum. So we will actually have the ability to provide smart contract functionality for Divi users in the very near future. And our devs and their devs are already working together to interoperate both blockchains. Super exciting. Dragon Chain is an amazing project. As you know, some of those guys came from Disney and Disney actually allowed them to take some of their blockchain technology and build Dragon Chain. It's an amazing project. You guys should check it out. And we're, of course, extremely, extremely excited about this new partnership. Another amazing development in the partnership realm, Maya Energy. So Maya Energy is a project that we're building with a partner of ours who has been doing solar energy projects, mostly in Africa and the Middle East, in tandem with the EU, with the UN, with the Gates Foundation, and a bunch of other incredibly large organizations. Now he's taking his experience, know-how, and some of the technology and building a more decentralized version of what he's already been doing. He's gonna be focused primarily, again, on Africa and the Middle East. He basically builds these containers which provide solar energy to do anything from charging like a tuk-tuk bike, if you've ever been uh, overseas and seen those little scooters. So it can charge those up, but it can also provide water cleaning services and anything else that you might need electricity or energy for. Now the problem that most of these remote villages in Africa and the Middle East have is that they're all run on diesel generators. And these diesel trucks have to travel literally hundreds of miles with you know diesel up mountains and through valleys and all of these things to these remote villages and then the diesel generators soar to work right they break down all the time they're ridden with issues because you're in the middle of nowhere and you have it's not like you have mechanical engineers at the ready right so this obviates that the need for that diesel generator provides clean energy renewable energy and it actually saves money on all sides of the business while providing a profit to our partner it's a win-win-win, it's a huge deal, and it's already going through. We'll probably be starting in Ghana, where we already have some orders for these machines. And the coolest part about this is that through a slight modification to the Divi blockchain, the Maya Energy Corporation will be running an STO. So right now he's raising money through traditional uh, friends and family investments. Once he's finished that round, which it's almost finished, he'll actually be doing an STO uh, and opening it up a little bit more to more investors. The STO will be handled on the Divi blockchain, be the Maya coin or what have you. And then all of the dividends from the profits of Maya will be paid out in Divi. Really cool. It's the first STO that will ever be um, implemented on, on the Divi blockchain. And of course, we're extremely, extremely excited. That's not all. With this deal, Maya is providing us with an EU banking license. This actually gives us the opportunity to provide the same money transmitter services that we have already in Costa Rica more efficiently to the 450 million people in the EU. That's right. We basically double what we already have. It's amazing. Definitely keep your eyes out for more developments on Maya Energy. 
Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about is actually a project that is really close to Jeff's heart. It's called Lightning Works. Now, Lightning Works is actually going to be the first funded venture out of Divi Ventures, which is our venture capital arm. It's this really cool application that is essentially like a comic book on the blockchain. So it's not just comic books, it's comics, characters, digital goods, what have you, but mostly comics. And the comics aren't just static images. They actually move around and they're really, really unique and cool and collectible. Of course, they're limited items, non-fungible tokens, immutable on the blockchain. And they kind of look like this. This is a really cool new use case for Divi. And users can actually generate their own comics with this sort of uh, almost like a Photoshop style um, interface to build and create your own content and comics and it looks like this so keep your eye out for more information about lightning comics the app is coming along beautifully it looks amazing and it's going to be a really really fun and unique use case i think for our ecosystem well as i said it's been a short month but it has been eventful that's all i have for you for the month of february i can't wait to see what march brings as you know, you can find us on social media at Divi Project across the board. Find us on Telegram, Discord. Don't forget about that giveaway channel. And we will see you next month.